Hello campers, in this episode of the DIY show, we will be tackling the flexible insert trim or screw cover inserts on your camper. Whether you are looking to upgrade or just simply replace these items, you are in the right place. Hello campers, in this episode of the DIY show, we will be tackling the flexible insert trim or screw cover inserts on your camper. Yours may be shrunken or missing or work loose or have any number of issues. Today, we show you how to replace it. But before we dig in, let's think about safety. Let's not forget that ladder and our surroundings. We don't want anybody getting injured on our watch. I agree, Matt, safety first. We have a lot of places to explore yet. I'd rather not do that with a cast on. <laughs> right on. And off we go. Up on the ladder, we will replace this trim cover insert. Tools that we'll need, uh, some new screw cover insert, a putty bone, a screw gun with a Phillips, or number two square bit. That's it. First, we pull the cover free from the end. If it's not free already, or just missing altogether, you may have sealant over the end holding it in place. If so, you can pry this free with a putty bone, and then to rip it out of the track, the whole way down, just pull it off. Next, we'll pre-cut a piece of the insert cover long enough to fill the area we are working with, and work it back into the base trim using our putty bone. Once in place, you can screw the end in place, and or use some seal it to hold it in place as well. That's about it. Really, you can do it too. Just get a solid place to work, order some cover insert, and you're on your own voyage. From Matt and me here at Coco Beach, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Check us out at KeystoneRV.com and be sure and download the My Keystone app. And thanks for watching.